Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Brockton Rotary Club. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amy. Bless America. I'd like to thank all the people that make the meetings possible that work at the front. I'd like to thank our greeter, Tim Ellers, Invocation myself, Richard for setting up Sergeant at Arms, uh, Tina and Tom for helping, um, and Tim also helping with the Queen Sales. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. Um, do we have any visiting Rotarians today? I don't see any out there in the crowd. Um, aside from our students and their families today, are there any guests here today? Any guests? Do I see any guests here today? They'll be introduced um, by their sponsors. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that assisted in uh, last week's uh, club assembly. Um, that was a lot of work that was put in, um, especially by uh, Brent and Tina and Betty and Mark. They were pivotal, pivotal I, I apologize, pivotal, in, um, in getting that corporate membership application put together and out to the membership so you guys could vote on it. And I appreciate you guys taking the time and all the questions that you asked. That was a lot of work and I appreciate, thank you, uh, you guys for doing that. So I'm um, just gonna run through um, order of business. Um, tonight, um, I've been announcing this for about a month and a half now. Tonight, the Brockton High School Alumni Association um, is honoring our own Amy Corum with the 2018 Alumni Service Award for her outstanding community service. And we see this day in and day out, week in and week out. That is tonight at seven o'clock, Amy. Seven, seven o'clock, Amy. All right, it's, so. Um, and it is at the Stacey Adams Cultural Arts Building on Dover Street. Um, if you're not gonna go, I would like to right now ask everyone to give a round of applause for Amy for all the work she does for the city. Thank you very much, Amy. Um, moving right along, June 9th is the wiffle ball tournament. Uh, Mary, can I just confirm the time on that? Yes, um, 10.30. 10.30 is when we're doing a little picture. 11 o'clock is when the wiffle ball will start. Okay. Time. Sure. Yeah. Okay. 11 o'clock, so we're still looking for a rotary to put a club together. And uh, 11 o'clock is start, 10.30 is picture time, so if you guys can be there, uh, send me a picture. I'll be out in Colorado in Colorado Springs, so I won't be able to attend. Uh, June 14th, just a reminder, uh, there is no luncheon meeting that day. Um, we're gonna be participating in the walk to end uh, elder abuse, and it's also our million dollar meal. So you can let uh, Betty know if you're gonna go so we can order enough pizza or bring your lunch, um, because we're doing a third million dollar meal this year. We need to count the members. Um, and Betty, what time does that start? Is it 10.30? I do have a flyer, um, if you want to send that out. The walk to end elder abuse. 12. 12? Okay. And that's on the 14th. Um, so, if, like I said, if you come here, you're going to be hungry because th that's going to take place for our lunch. Uh, June 21st, uh, that's anniversaries and past presidents. Uh, July 12th, uh, there'll be no uh, afternoon lunch that day. That is the night for Richard's installation. Thank you very much. Um, and what I would like to do now is ask if there are any happy bucks out there today. Do I see any happy bucks out there? Mary Waldron. There we go. We good. Oh, Steve is here. Sorry, Steve. Remind me if I forget, Stephen. I'm sorry. Thank you. All right. I'm going to bring the meeting back to order. If I could, please continue to eat. 
Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all the people that make the meetings possible that work at the front. I'd like to thank our greeter, Tim Ellers, Invocation myself, Richard for setting up Sergeant at Arms, uh, Tina and Tom for helping, um, and Tim also helping with the Queen Sales. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. Um, do we have any visiting Rotarians today? I don't see any out there in the crowd. Um, aside from our students and their families today, are there any guests here today? Any guests? Do I see any guests here today? They'll be introduced uh, by their sponsors. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that assisted in uh, last week's uh, club assembly. Um, that was a lot of work that was put in, um, especially by uh, Brent and Tina and Betty and Mark. They were pivotal, pivotal I, I apologize, pivotal, and, um, in getting that corporate membership application put together and out to the membership so you guys could vote on it. And I appreciate you guys taking the time and all the questions that you asked. That was a lot of work and I appreciate, thank you, uh, you guys for doing that. So I'm um, just going to run through um, order of business um, tonight. Um, I've been announcing this for the, about a month and a half now. Tonight, the Brockton High School Alumni Association um, is honoring our own Amy Corum with the 2018 Alumni Service Award for her outstanding community service. And we see this day in and day out, week in and week out. That is tonight at 7 o'clock, Amy. 7. 7 o'clock, Amy. All right? It's... So... Um, and it is at the Stacy Adams Cultural Arts Building on Dover Street. Um, if you're not going to go, I would like to right now ask everyone to give a round of applause for Amy for all the work she does for the city. Thank you very much, Amy. Um, moving right along, June 9th is the wiffle ball tournament. Uh, Mary, can I just confirm the time on that? Yes. Eleven o'clock. So we're still looking for a rotary to put a club together, and uh, eleven o'clock is start. Ten thirty is picture time. So if you guys can be there, uh, send me a picture. I'll be out in Colorado, in Colorado Springs. So I won't be able to attend. Uh, June fourteenth. Just a reminder: uh, there is no luncheon meeting that day. Um, we're going to be participating in the walk to end uh, elder abuse, and it's also our million dollar meal. So you can. Let uh, Betty know if you're gonna go so we can order enough pizza or bring your lunch um, because we're doing a third million dollar meal this year. We need to count the members. Um, and Betty, what time does that start? Is it 10.30? I do have a flyer um, if you wanna send that out. The walk to end elder abuse. 12. 12, okay. And that's on the 14th. Um, so if, like I said, if you come here, you're gonna be hungry because that, that's gonna take place for our lunch. Uh, June 21st, uh, that's anniversaries and past presidents. Uh, July 12th, uh, there'll be no uh, afternoon lunch that day. That is the night for Richard's installation. So, Dr. Mary Connors um, came up to me today and she had brought up a very good point and something that I had brought up last year when I actually took the podium last July. And actually before then, uh, when I met with Richard and Betty and some of the, uh, uh, the board of directors. And um, a lot of the, the people and the uh, recipients today and their parents and family members are asking what is Rotary? Um, and that was my uh, goal is to try to get, you know, uh, answer that question out into the community. Um, in short, I, uh, Mary did and I thank her to pass out these little cards that explains what Rotary is and I'm just going to read the first one. Um, it is an organization of business and professional leaders united worldwide to provide humanitarian service encourage high ethical standards in all vocations and help build goodwill and peace in the world. So in essence, uh, today's meeting and today's program is one of those things that we do um, that this is one of my favorite meetings um, of the year. Richard knows that. Um, we work hard all year through fundraising, uh, local and international events, um, to try to raise money for um, programs such as this to give out scholarships. Um, today's meeting and program will exemplify what Rotary is, what we are about. Today, we will be handing out scholarships to six exceptional students who have proven their academic ability and are ready to conquer the next chapter of their lives. I'm just going to run down the procedure on how we're going to conduct today so there's no confusion. Um, I'm going to introduce the scholarship, the, the recipients, one at a time. Um, I'll invite their sponsor and the student to come up to the podium. The sponsor will introduce the student who received the scholarship, um, read a brief biography uh, if they'd like. And 
The students may or may not want to address the membership. It's totally up to you. It's voluntary. You, you don't have to speak if you don't want to. Um, and then after all the presentations, the after the presentation, the sponsor and recipient will take their seats. Once all the scholarships have been presented, I will then ask all the students, their sponsors, and their family members um, to come to the front of the podium. Okay, we got that. All set on that, Tim? All right. I'm going to ask Tina to come up. Okay, the first scholarship to be handed out is the Frank Sargent Scholarship. Frank was the principal of Sargent Supply and a longtime Rotarian. The recipient, Abigail Medellin and Mark Mendez, I will ask Mark and Abigail to come up, please. Good afternoon. Uh, first recipient, Abigail Medellin, um, is an amazing student, works very hard. Um, she finished 120 out of 957 in her class. GPA was a uh, 3.93, and next year she's attending UMass Boston. Um, along with that, <coughs> she's involved with her local church. She is a lifeguard at Manly? The Manning. The Manning, as well as uh, Westfield um, Child Center, which she's going to be doing that all summer. Um, next year, she's going to be studying nursing. Um, and uh, it was particular when I was reading her narrative for um, the, uh, the essay that they all have to provide, um, along with all of the other recipients. Um, there was a lot of strings being pulled at your heart. And, um, uh, Abigail did an amazing job throughout her Brockton High career of overcoming obstacles. And I know everyone, all student, all athletes have this, um, but she did a really, really good job. And we won't go into those, but amazing job. Having said that, she's also involved with the local church, um, worked two, full, two jobs as well as being a full-time student athlete, uh, athlete and just an, an absolutely amazing job. Um, so on behalf of Brock and Rody, congratulations. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you for this opportunity and I really appreciate um, everything that this scholarship is going to help me um, complete in my next four years. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much, Mark. Abigail. Um, our next recipient. will be receiving the Charles A. Fuller Scholarship. Thank you, Stephen. Charles was the owner and publisher of the Brockton Enterprise and the first two generations of Rotarian. Um, I would ask Joanne Woods Young and Michaela Florio to please come up. Good afternoon, Rotarians. It is my honor to present to you our second recipient, Michaela Florio. Super impressive with everything the students have done, but Michaela has shown a special interest in special needs students over her four years. She's been a member of the National Honor Society, the National Honor Foreign Language Society. Her GPA is a 4-2, but it might be a little higher because there was a little bit of the semester that wasn't quite matriculated yet into um, the stats that she had. But out of 955 students, she's number 58. Could be a little higher as well. And that is about the top 4% of her class. That's amazing. She was also in peer mediation and really showed that her interest is in early childhood education. So in the fall, she will attend Worcester State University and she's going to study early childhood education, but I want to read you her quote that really spoke to me. Her dream is to inspire students to discover the best version of themselves. 
How incredible is that? That is what we all need. In seeing and meeting her in person, I know that you're gonna fulfill that dream. So I am very pleased to present you with this scholarship today. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you very much. Okay, the recipient of the next scholarship is the Henry Hansen Scholarship. Founder of Hans Hansen Printing and first of three generations of Rotarians, I would like to ask Rotarian Eric Lutz and recipient Jenny Jang to please come up to the podium. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, this is always a best program that we have, and it's really inspiring to see all these young people that have worked so hard and uh, really brings to fruition uh, all of the hard work that we put in as Rotarians all the time. Uh, and, and to be able to give back uh, to these students, it gives us a lot of hope for the future. Um, giving out the Hanson Scholarship is uh, especially uh, meaningful to me because uh, I went to kindergarten with that third generation Hanson sitting over there, so uh, means a lot. Um, <clears throat> yes, I did graduate, Mr. Sampson. Thank you very much. Um, let's talk about Jenny Yang for a second. You did pronounce it wrong, by the way. The G and the Y, uh, G and the I make a Y sound. Thank you, it's Jenny, Jenny Yang. Uh, Jenny is a, a phenomenal student. Uh, she is in the top 100 of her class. Uh, she has uh, greater than a 4.0 GPA, which didn't really know was, was possible. I knew it was higher to get above a two and below a three. <laughs> uh, and it's always interesting to, uh, to find out why uh, students choose a specific field of study. And uh, Jenny has been accepted to Curry College, and she's going to be taking nursing there at Curry College. Um, and anybody who's ever had any experience, we've all experienced what nurses do. They are basically God little angels with the wings, right? They, uh, they walk around with their calculators and the stethoscopes, and they do all the hard work that the doctors can't do. Um, why did Jenny want to be a nurse? Well, um, she spent a lot of time uh, growing up as the uh, daughter of immigrant parents, spent a lot of time caring for them. And that's what is driving her into helping to care for others. So it's something that speaks near and dear to us as Rotarians, somebody that wants to help others and, and wants to provide service. Uh, in her distinguished career at Brockton High, she's a National Honor Society student. She was on the student council. And uh, I know that uh, you'll all join me in wishing her great success at Curry College and in her nursing career. Thank you. I would like to just say thank you for giving me the opportunity um, to pursue my career as nursing. And yeah. Great job. Our next recipient uh, is the recipient of the John Frady Scholarship. John was the driving force to triple the size of the CNE fund during his time at Rotary. Um, I would like to ask Mary Waldron and Ahmadat Yusuf to come up and accept this scholarship, please. So we have two little shorties here, petite. I won't touch that one because I know. I think this is why we are paired together here. So um, I, I, I get emotional. Um, 2012 was when John passed away and Casey was recipient of this award. <laughs> We never forget it. It's one of the reasons why I'm back to Rotary. 
but this day, and particularly looking at all of you and seeing some of the parents that I get to know who I've seen along the way too, this really is special, and this organization is special. And today, I am proud to presenting the John Frady Scholarship to Am Amidat Youssef. Um, Amidat was born in Nigeria and is a daughter of Sharif, who's here, and um, Folk Youssef, both social workers. She has two siblings. Um, Muwatha attends Brandeis University in the healthcare field as well, and her brother, um, Sahidi. They moved to the United States nine years ago, leaving the rest of their family in Nigeria for a new life and starting a new life. Life was and still is not easy for them, especially her parents who work day in and day, in, day out um, to support both family here and in Nigeria. Amadat volunteers at the Catholic Charities, a member of the National Honor Society, Boxer Buddies, Upward Bound, is a teacher assistant at church, participates in the broad summer scholarship programs, and on and on and on. Understanding the importance of an education, she's she is pursuing her dream of becoming a surgeon. Um, it's her goal, as well as taking pressure off her hardworking and passionate parents. She is looking for a job for the summer. <laughs> and already I'm connecting her with the um, Brockton Area Workforce Investment Board just while sitting at the table, but she is looking for a job in the summer. Um, she is going to UMass, um, but I did bring, because she applied to Bridgewater State University, <laughs> that I'm giving her this little plug to remember that Bridgewater State University <laughs> has a biology program, but she is going to, UMass Boston is my alma mater for my graduate studies. It's a great um, institution of higher learning. And please welcome me and congratulating Amadat. Um, oh, I just want to say thank you so much for like this chance to pursue my education as a biology major. So thank you. <laughs> Get it right this time. <laughs> we okay with you? You did. Three. Thank you. Okay, our next recipient is a recipient of the Stanton W. Davis Scholarship. Stan was the CEO of Shaw's Supermarket and a former Rotarian. I'd like to ask Rotarian Tim Ellers and Edward Yee to please come up and accept the scholarship. This is probably my favorite day in Rotary too, because this is the day that we get to scope out who our new Rotarians are going to be. We just have to make the right investments. And you know, there are so many, uh, so many young people out there that are worthy, that have worked so hard, and it's so difficult to pick out the ones that are the right ones uh, to receive the scholarships. And Whoever it was, uh, the powers that be that paired me up today with, with Edward, I just want to say thank you because this guy is like mini-me uh, in a number of different ways. We're already hitting it off and a lot of it comes from the fact that uh, how he wants to serve his community. Um, Edward with his uh, 4.179 GPA uh, with two siblings already in college uh, with just mom making that happen. Uh, he's already got a little bit of that these kids today and their money and they need to learn how to spend their money the right way and how to save and how to uh, provide opportunities for themselves and how to do all that stuff so Edward as a as a, uh, a tutor and as a voluntary uh, volunteer aide at the library has been interacting with a lot of his peers and therefore his his goal is to serve Brockton not the world not Brockton to teach people wise financial decision making to help people who are young to find opportunity no matter what their circumstances having a mother like Catherine who was one of six children in China who had to leave leave school to work on a farm to uh, to feed the actual family uh, teaches you a lot about overcoming circumstances 
and someday Edward hopes to establish a scholarship program of his own uh, to help young people in need in Brockton. Um, he will be going to the uh, Univer University of Massachusetts Dartmouth and, uh, and someday uh, he, I hope he's going to give me a call because uh, we probably will not try to make room for him uh, in the financial industry after he gets his accounting degree. So uh, help me uh, to say congratulations to Edward Yee. Uh, first thing I was going to say is the food is really good, so shout out to all the chefs in the back. Really good. Also, uh, I'd like to thank everyone here who has been able to offer me this opportunity. I can only hope to at least accomplish what half of you have done uh, after talking to at least some of you. I know you all are very successful in your fields. I'd like to thank you all again for this opportunity. Thank you. scholarship recipient and our award is the Chief Edward Sonny Burrow Scholarship and for anybody that's been in the club for a long time uh, you may remember the chief he was a great guy um, actually offered to drive me home a couple of times it was quite hilarious um, uh, from one of our couple of our night, nightly meetings and I thanked him I told him I could make it so I was gonna be okay uh, for those who don't know the chief um, he was a survivor of the Strand Theater fire and longtime fire chief for the city of Brockton, and he was a beloved Rotarian. He was a good friend to a lot of the people over there on Table 8, and he took me under his wing when I first came in here, and I really greatly appreciate it. Um, I would like to ask Dr. Mary Connors and Arianlis Gongan to please come up and accept this scholarship. Thank you, Mr. President. Welcome, Rotarians and guests. We have a very special recipient here beside me. This is Ariana Liss, Ariana Liss Gongon, in her paraprofessional gene. And her mother is sitting over at the table, Wally. Ariana has an interesting story. When she was 11 years old, she had to have brain surgery, and as a result, she had a stroke after it. And so it kind of limited her, and she challenged herself. You know that idea where there's a will, there's a way? Well, this woman has it inside of her. She decided at some point that she was going to go to high school and get her degree. And she also decided that she was not going to be in special education classes. She wanted to be in general studies and earn her degree. And she earned it at Brockton High School with a GPA of 3.9. Ariana knew that innately she had a love for math and a talent for math. So she's studying to become an accountant. And she has been formally accepted at Massasoit Community College. There will still be some challenges for her because she really does need para help and she does need help when she's going to be in the classroom. So they're going to have to work through those challenges and come up with solutions. Because again, when there's a will, there's a way. Ariana has a love for basketball, and her favorite team is not the Boston Celtics. Okay. Uh -oh. Her favorite team is the Miami Heat. She has the most beautiful smile and expression on her. I am very pleased to present to Ariana Lee Gongon a scholarship from Brockton Rotary.
Louise and her mother, Wally, we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to pursue her love of math. Okay, are you ready? Okay, ready. 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 Ready.